Hey guys, welcome back to YouTube. Thank you so much for being here. Guess what time it is? Do you know what I'm talking about? Uh -huh. What month is it? It is May. May the force be with you. <laughs> okay, no, but seriously. So right now I am going to watch Solo. Not seen it. Uh, wasn't like super hyped about this movie when it came out. Um, I love most things Star Wars, you know that, for those of you that know me. So this was something that like, I wasn't like, like so, oh my God, I gotta see this right away. But I wanna see it now, because I haven't seen it, obviously, and it's about time I see it, it came out four years ago. And I've heard pretty good things about this film. So I do, I'm interested in seeing it. I know this is all about, you know, Harrison Ford. I mean, he'll always be Han Solo to me. Um, but I did hear that the guy who's acting, who's playing him in this movie is pretty good. I don't remember his name right now, but I did hear he's, he does a really good job. So I am stoked to see this and I'm just excited to watch it. I think it's just over two hours, this movie. Did you guys like Solo? Was it something you guys like? Let me know in the comments below. I know that there were sort of mixed feelings on this movie, but most people that I, I'm, I'm close to, most people in my life said they really, really, they really enjoyed Solo. Um, so I'm, I'm just excited to see it. Yeah, I, I want to see it. It's been a long time since I actually, it's been a while since I watched any Star Wars content, really. I mean, The Mandalorian, I think The Mandalorian was like the first show I watched here on my channel. Oh God, I love The Mandalorian. It was so good. It was freaking amazing. And I'm also going to watch uh, Revenge of the Sith. I think in about a week or a week and a half. Um, but by the time you guys see this video, I will have already have watched Revenge of the Sith. Because I think I'm going to release Solo on May 4th, probably. Maybe May 3rd. Maybe May 1st. <laughs> but close to the 4th. Yeah. Anyways, I'm just being silly right now. I'm excited. What else can I say about this movie? Not much, because I don't know a lot about it. I did see one tiny clip on an Imgur video which was, do you guys know Imgur? I love Imgur. I do a lot of my posting on LinkedIn, actually, and I use a lot of Imgur videos there. But on Imgur, uh, I saw a little clip of this movie and it was on a boat. It was on a boat, yeah, it was the guy who plays Han Solo and it was Chewie. And Chewie was, I don't know, Han Solo, or the guy who plays Solo was asking Chewie if, what his name was and then he was saying well you've got to come up with a nickname because i can't keep pronouncing your name like that every every time i call for you or whatever well, it was a hilarious little clip that i saw i loved it yeah so anyways let's go ahead let's watch solo a star wars story i'm excited to see this i think it's gonna be great keeping my keeping my uh expectations in check obviously i like to do that but um i'm excited all right here we go Crime syndicates compete for resources, food, medicine, and hyperfuel. From the shipbuilding planet of Corellia, the foul lady Proxima forced run runaways into a life of crime in exchange for shelter and protection. Ew. On these mean streets, a young man fights for survival but yearns to fly among the stars. What is this actor's name? Solo. He's got a really good look. What I stole? Proxima will give me an extra portion for this. Well, if I think she's gonna give that extra portion to me. Lady Proxima. Han. Ooh, who's this? I knew something must have gone wrong. This is nothing. You should see them. <laughs> what, are we going somewhere? Yeah. Anywhere we want. Whoa. Wow. What? Is that Lady Proxima? I trusted you with a simple task and all I'm hearing are excuses. 
Whoa, she looks like half alien, half black crystal. Or no, dark crystal. Half alien, half dark crystal. Do you remember dark crystal? <laughs> I don't think I'm ever gonna learn. What did you say? Whoa. Dude, you shouldn't say that. I hit him back. Uh-oh. Whatever he lost on the deal, we'll earn it back double. We will make it up to you. Oh my god. Is that Khaleesi? Whoa, okay. I... <laughs> okay, I think I read that a few years ago, but I did not remember that. That's her, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is her. Oh, that is awesome. No. This is... Whoa. Oh. Oh, they don't like sunlight. Oh, <laughs> smart. I was wondering why everything was so dark. I was like, is it just perpetual nighttime or is it, what is going on here? She's such a good actress. Oh man. I watched Game of Thrones. I loved Game of Thrones so much. Amelia Clark, I think is her name, right? I think so. <laughs> oh. Hang on. oh, very cool visual effects. Very, very cool. Oh, ho, ho. oh yeah, that, that looks awesome. Wow, that looks really amazing. You must follow the proper. Oh, <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. Ooh. It's amazing because so much of, oh, so much of this is shot like in front of a green screen, which is hilarious to me. You can't even tell. It's just amazing. That's how far we've come in visual effects. It's incredible. Watch this. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> Good old Solo. Still a nut bar. Always a nut bar. Always will be. <laughs> Oh, 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 that doesn't look good. Oh. Well, stormtroopers. All droids must be registered. Oh, that was smart, you guys. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. oh. Look. Damn right. Oh, I love Amelia Clark. I love seeing her again. Let us through, it's all yours. Oh, they're gonna they're not gonna give it to her. Oh, are they? As we're going through, not before. Yeah, good. Do not give it up till you get through. Just do it, do it. Open the gates. Go! Oh! No way! Oh my god! Oh no! Another unauthorized tra traveler made it through the gates. This must happen. This must happen often. People can just bribe the, the gate officials. Bring order and unity to the galaxy. Bring order and unity to the galaxy? Yeah, right. Well, have you got someone to be? Yeah, back here as soon as I can. <laughs> don't hear that much. <laughs> I don't have people. I'm oh. Right. Um. Han Solo. Solo? Ha ha ha! Proceed to transport ID 83 for the Naval Academy. At That's Carita. cool. Wow. So that's how it all started. Oh. -ho. Three years later. My God. He's fighting with the bad guys. So let me guess. Let me guess. All of these guys right here are killing the rebels, right? Aren't they? Or are they the rebels? No, no, no. They're the ones. These guys are the ones killing the rebels. Me! 
Major said we're supposed to go that way. Yeah, go that way and die. Here, is that Woody Harrelson? Who's the ranking officer oh. now? <laughs> That's so cool. Oh my god, is that Fandy Newton? Right, and maybe we'll get lucky. Luck's got nothing to do with it. Holy cow, I had no idea this movie had all of these big actors in it. Shut up and do what your captain tells you. Let's go! That is so cool, wow. Very, very cool. I'm Han. Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody cares. Get the hell away from here any way you can, as fast as you can. Oh, wow. That's good advice. I love Fandy Newton, and I love Woody Harrelson. So awesome. Install a regime loyal to the Emperor and eradicate the hostiles. It's their planet. We're the hostiles. Exactly. Moving up. Okay, I recognize that actor, but I don't know his name. Some names I can remember right away, and some names I can't. My lips get really dry. This way. Right. You have a talent for sticking your nose in where it doesn't belong. <laughs> your thieves here to steal equipment for a job, and I want it. Well, now we gotta shoot him. <gasps> Snap his neck. Wow. I'm an Imperial Trooper. Oh, really? A couple of your arms popped out of your butt and hiked up your pants, Trooper. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Lieutenant, we have apprehended a deserter. Take him. That's... wait. I should have known. This one's a troublemaker. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I can't believe Woody Harrelson just turned him in. <laughs> I can't believe he just did that. Don't care. Oh, um... Uh-oh. Oh, no! Uh, what in the heck is that? Wait, that's Chewie! Hey, hey, big fella. Just calm down. What? That's Chewie! When you're around somebody who's a genius, you're trying to get whatever that magic dust that comes from him. Oh! 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 oh. He just bit him? Uh oh. Ooh. Oh! Yeah, I speak a little now. Just listen. <gasps> he spoke Wookie! <laughs> that is so cool! Oh. <gasps> yes! Good job, guys. Good job. That's awesome. ran in different directions. <laughs> oh, Chewy. Go with Han. I want them to go together. Yeah. How do they breathe in these suits? It's so stuffy. Oh. Oh no, they're going to miss the flight. <laughs> oh no, there they are. I'm telling you, you will never have a deeper sleep than curled up in a Wookiee's lap. Oh! <laughs> I told you, very good friends. Very good friends. He doesn't even know them. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm so. So this is how Chewie and Han met. Aw, so cute. I love it. I love Chewie. Oh my god, I think Chewie is my favorite character in Star Wars. Chewie. And Yoda, Luke, Padme, Leia, Han. I love all of them. Vader, although Vader's always the bad guy. <laughs> Vader. <laughs> but Chewie, I don't know. He's just like 
Amazing. He reminds me of my dog. And I know that George Lucas like wrote him. His dog was his inspiration. So cute. So what's your name anyway? Here's here. Chewbacca. <laughs> You're gonna need a nickname because I ain't saying that every time. <laughs> oh, that's the one clip I had seen in this movie. That was the only one. <laughs> what's what's an infant's nest? I told you we're way ahead of the competition on this one. Infant's nest. Have you ever tried to disinvite a Wookiee to anything? Not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> it disinvite a Wookiee. <laughs> no. There was a girl, but uh, I got out. She didn't. Oh, that's so sad. Get a ship. Go back and find her. Yeah. Personally, I refuse to be tied down by anyone. Though many have tried. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> oh. Oh, I love that. Oh. I'm so glad they have each other. What was he saying? He said the Wookiees were enslaved by the Empire, taken off Kashyyyk. Oh. I don't know if he said tribe or family. What's the difference? Uh, exactly, what's the difference? Tribe, family? No difference. Just do what I say when I say it. And this time tomorrow, you'll have more than enough to buy your own ship. I hope Woody Harrelson keeps his word to Han and Chewie after, after they help him, help him and Thandie Newton do this job, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Never better. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Look at the visual effects in this. It's so good. Beautiful. Oh, uh-oh. Uh oh. Whoa! Whoa. Uh-oh. Chewie! Oh, Chewie! Oh. A little close there, buddy! Uh, yeah, <laughs> a little close, that's for sure. <laughs> Who's that? Infant's nest! Marauders, pirates, come to snake the score from under us. Oh, pirates. Whoa. Oh, Chewie! Oh, he got one. That's good. Oh, oh my god! Oh, no! Oh, god. Just nicked one of my shoulders. It's nothing. It's not nothing. No, he really got hit badly. Oh, oh! Oh, he's gonna fly off the ship now. Yeah. Oh, whoa! Oh no, no, no. Rio, stay with me, buddy. Oh, that poor guy. I don't think he's gonna make it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Rio. Oh, Rio. Oh no. Oh. I'm going to have to finish the job from right here. What? What? Oh. <gasps> no. No. No, no. Oh no way! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at what's going on here! Grab the line! Don't you do it! 
Jeez. Whoa. Holy cow. Okay, that was a horrible, horrible mission. My God. Oh. Sorry, I punched your face. Happens more often than you'd think. <laughs> Paul Bettany? <laughs> oh. Put this in my office. I might be needing it later. Oh, man. Okay, Paul Bettany is one of my favorite actors on this planet. City. It's a party. L Wait, look at that waiter. That server only has half a head. Oh. I just saw it again. There was ha there was a person carrying drinks with half a head. Chewy, would you please? Uh. <gasps> oh my God. What is she doing there? Oh, she joined them. Oh, are these the people he's gonna, he owed the shipment to? All right, let's eat a little, drink a lot. Okay, so are these guys, are Amelia Clark and Paul Bettany part of the Empire? Or are they just on their own, separate from the Empire? There is no making this right. You know who I answer to, and you know what he'll expect of me. Who he answers to, okay. Does he answer to the Chancellor? My God, he was just about to kill them? You'd need a incredibly fast ship and a brilliant pilot. We'll find a ship. We've already That's Han. Got the pilot. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. This is risky. He's attractive. Too. Sophisticated with impeccable taste. Oh, who is this person she's speaking about? <laughs> Droids killing each other in a in a cage fight. <laughs> How was I supposed to know she was an imperial spy? I thought she loved me. <laughs> okay, is this guy, is this <laughs> is this supposed to be Lando? No way. Let me add him. Absolutely not. These guys are serious guys. <gasps> Stick me. I love Lando. It's not Billy D. Williams, but obviously not, because he's he couldn't play this role now, just because it wouldn't wouldn't be suitable. He's like in his 80s, right? Yeah. Oh, I love Lando. The seat taken. Oh, that is Donald Glover, isn't it? Captain Lando Carrizi. On solo. <laughs> Anything, Han. He's amazing. Talk, but that's okay. Anything. He called him Han. <laughs> oh. Eyes on your own card. <laughs> Those eyes were totally looking at him. Sorry, minus two. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh. oh. <laughs> he just like chewed his nails off. That was hilarious. Street staves. <gasps> Did he win? What does Lando have? He won, right? You played me. Oh, he did win. You're okay. Yeah. yeah. You're very good. I was like, wait a minute. But not good enough. <gasps> did Lando? Back. Oh my gosh, Lando won. Oh man, he has no ship to give him. Where yeah, that's right. Oh, he cheated. Oh. Do you see that? I saw that thing in his, on his wrist. 25. 25% works. <laughs> Don't just blindly follow the program. Exercise some free will. Aww. Oh my god, they cut off her hand? No. 
She says that droids are sentient beings. I believe droids are sentient. Because you're my organic overlord. Because I'm your captain. How about that? <laughs> my organic overlord. Look away. I can't perform with you looking at me. Please indulge her. She said she can't perform when they're looking at her. <laughs> I can feel you looking at me. <laughs> That's perfect. Did you guys ever see Short Circuit, the movie from the 80s? Dead. Disassemble. Dead. Hey, slow down. It was so cute, that movie. I never cried so hard about a, a droid before. <laughs> Although I think in that movie, they were called robots, not droids. <laughs> and a bunch of movies came out after that. The one with Will Smith, I loved. Oh, I can't remember what it's called now, but it was so good. And then there was one with Haley Joel Osment. He played, he played a, an a artificial intelligence, or AI little boy. It was so good too. Oh, my sacral occipital circuit is sticking. You're gonna have to do that thing again later. Yeah. <laughs> Whose voice is that? You done flirting? I'm still ready. Yeah, you done flirting? <laughs> is he flirting with, with Han? <laughs> That's funny. Uh. <laughs> That's cute. Somehow I never. Uh. Oh, oh, oh Chewie. <laughs> Chewie's so upset. Uh, you guys seen Kira? People are predictable. I wonder if him and Kira will develop a strong liking for each other again. Actually, I wonder if Kira will like him because he still likes her. You don't know what I've done. Oh. <laughs> That's exactly how he was with Leia. Am I interrupting something? You are interrupting something. <laughs> I trust no one. Assume everyone will betray you and you will never be disappointed. So Kira may have become a different person now that Han doesn't, real, doesn't know anymore. Or he doesn't know who he, she's become, I mean. So Han knew Kira the way that she used to be, but maybe she's just a different person now. Like she was saying to him, she's like, you won't look at me the same way if you knew the things that I've done. That's interesting. I'm gonna go check on the dentist. You need anything? Equal rights? Did she just say equal rights? <laughs> he goes, do you need anything? And she says equal rights. <laughs> Very cool. That's cute. <laughs> And that young male's heart fluctuations tell me he's in love with you. Han is not in love with me. Yes, he is. But Lando has feelings for me, which makes working together difficult because I do not feel the same way about him. Oh. Okay. So Lando likes the droid, but the droid doesn't like him. Interesting. Okay. Ooh, look at her in the red and black outfit. Oh, so they're pretending to be prisoners. Okay, good job. To bring forth the merchandise. This role, she's so perfect for this role. She's like Khaleesi, just a little different. <laughs> oh, oh. Really? Wait. Did she just pass him something? Oh, she did. Oh, thank God. Oh no, she's in the room by herself though with this. Oh, Ew. oh good. Oh. Whoa. Oh, she. What was that? She took him down. Yeah. Yeah. Dryden taught her that. Wow. Restraining bolts. Barbaric. <laughs> Restraining bolts. You're liberated. Scoot. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> you're brothers and sisters or something. Just give me some space. <laughs> That's hilarious.
Oh, it's hilarious. The droid is is unscrewing all the other droids to set them free. Oh, I love it. Aww. Come on, this way. Oh. Wait, what are you doing? Come on. Oh, does Chewie see one of his own? He does. Oh. Oh. Chewie, come on, let's go. Oh no. He sees his own tribe. He's got to go help them, Han. Here, you might need this. Oh, thank you, Han. Yeah, go, Chewie. Go save your tribe. Yes! <laughs> yeah! Okay, got it. Great, only 11 more. 11? 11 more? Oh my gosh. Three, come on! Oh, R2s. R2 units right there. Oh, Chewie, yeah! Oh, he's got his guys with him. Oh. Hey, I'm Chewie's friend, Han. Okay. <laughs> he, he, Chewie's friend, just pet Han. <laughs> so cute. Yeah, Lando. Be careful. <laughs> He just called him Han again. <laughs> Han. Han Solo. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. And they have to get those tanks on board and they have to get them back to get them to somewhere with a, in a certain amount of time before they blow up, right? Oh no, L3. Oh no. Okay, how long do they have until those things explode? How about that? Is that real trouble? Um. Okay, that is n that is not good. That is not good at all. There's no way they're gonna waste a Tie Fighter chasing down a little rinky dink freighter. Oh, you were so wrong, Han. Oh no, they got hit. Whoa! Like a Gingerson helps! Like, are they or aren't they? Yes, they're still on us! Nice one! Yeah! Oh, my God. oh good one. Chewy. Years old? <gasps> oh, Chewie! Oh, <laughs> you look great for 190 years old. Oh, Chewie, co-pilot, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. The other two characters. I don't know if they're gonna make it through. Well, something I picked up from my pal Needles, best street racer in all Corellia. Till he crashed and died. <laughs> oh, oh my. Oh, oh man. Oh. oh, whoa. It's part of the 
the ship now. Oh, she's part of the ship now. Oh, L3. Whoa. Oh. What is that? It's a gravity well. I got an idea. Don't fly toward it, Han. <laughs> He's like, don't fly toward it. What? Um, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, look at that landing. <laughs> That's because I think their landing gear was busted, right? Oh, they gotta get the Seth's gonna be offloaded right away. Just did the castle run in 12 parsecs. Not if you round down, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Lando. Oh, he's looking at his ship. And then I don't ever want to see you again. Oh, Lando. Never? You guys will become friends. We know that because of the other movies. You guys become good friends. You are the good guy. Oh, she remembers. Not the good guy. I am definitely not the good guy. Yes, you are, Han. Very cool production design. What is going on here? Are these the, the same um, pirates that took his last shipment? All I gotta do is give him the signal, you're surrounded. Oh my god, Lando left in the ship? Oh my gosh. <gasps> Whoa, that's, what's her name from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier? Crimson Dawn and the rest of the five syndicates have committed unspeakable crimes across the galaxy. <gasps> We're not marauders. We're allies. Oh. And the war's just begun. Wow. Oh man, I just got shivers. By some miracle, you make it out of here. Find me on Tatooine. It's <gasps> on Tatooine. Tatooine. He's going to Tatooine. When he says he's going to go work with a big gangster, I wonder who he's talking about. It's Jabba, maybe? No. I think it, thinking it was might have been Jabba. Show me what you brought me first. Uh oh. You want me to open it? Oh yes, Han, I really do. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Did he not put the right things in there? How'd you do it? Wasn't easy. No, I mean, how'd you do it? Looks exactly like the real thing. Oh, is that fake? It's not good. But my associate already told me about your plan to rob me of my money. What? Not Kira. Kira, it turns out, has a weak spot for you, and we'll deal with that later. Oh, no. Can you come in and join us, please? <gasps> Is it Woody Harrelson? No way! You sold them out? I am sorry, kid. Oh, my God. You told Chewie people are predictable. You're no exception. <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Heyman, talk to me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Very cool. Oh god. Hans in there all by himself with no allies. Whoa. Oh. 
Wow. Kyle, I'm right behind you. No, you're not. Why is she staying behind? What exactly is she doing? Is she planning on doing? Or is she just gonna take over here? Become the leader? Is she gonna take Paul Bettany's place? I think she is. Slaughtered the others, I alone survived. One man oh. couldn't have. Wow. Oh my God. You and I will be working much more closely from now on. Jeez, my God. Ugh. Okay, I would definitely wouldn't want that. I definitely not. Um. I hope you're still paying attention because now I'm gonna tell you the most important- Oh! What? He shot him? Wow, I was not expecting that at all. It makes sense though, he had to kill him because he was gonna kill Han. There she goes. She's not coming to see you, Han. She's gone. I happen to be something of an authority. By the way. Uh Lando. Hey, we are friends. You know that. We're friends, right? We're not going No, what does he have on his wrist? Okay. Uh, oh. oh, he saw the card up his sleeve. He saw the card thing up his sleeve, right? <laughs> you want a rematch? Why not? <laughs> to get his, <laughs> to get the Millennium Falcon back. <laughs> I don't know. I'm feeling lucky. Ooh. Wow. I wonder if he grabbed the card thing out from his wrist when he gave him a hug. Oh, he, oh, he did. <laughs> That's awesome. He grabbed it. He grabbed it. He grabbed the card from his wrist. Perfect. If you'd only had this little green Psylocke, you would have beaten this. Ah! Uh, wow. So that's how Han got the ship. <laughs> They probably said that in the um, original trilogy. I just don't remember it. <laughs> oh, directed by Ron Howard. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, I loved that. So that was really good. I liked that a lot. I thought that was awesome. I know there were, I think some people, oh, no way, Phil Lord and Chris, Chris Miller, executive produced that. I used to work with those guys. That's so funny. That's amazing. Um, so I, uh, I know that there were mixed feelings about this. I'm pretty sure there were mixed feelings about this movie as far as I can remember. But it did get, I think it got good reviews by critics. So didn't it? Or was that, was that The Last Jedi? Anyways, I can't remember. There's, it was this one, The Last Jedi, and then the other film that's after The Last Jedi, which I can't remember the name of right now. Oh man, I'm drawing such a blank. But I haven't seen that one either. I saw The Last Jedi, and for those of you that have been here on my channel for a while, you'll know that I watched The Last Jedi last year. I think I watched it actually around May 4th last year. And uh, I had sort of mixed feelings about The Last Jedi. I mean, there were definitely good parts to The Last Jedi, but there were there were things about it that fundamentally I just didn't I didn't like. One of the main things was that I didn't like how they said goodbye to uh, to Luke to Luke Skywalker. Um, I love Daisy Ridley and I love her character, but I just didn't like that how they said goodbye to Luke. Uh, Luke was kind of someone that I had grown up with, and he was him and Leia and Han. I just always kind of looked up to, and so when I saw the Last Jedi. I don't know, for me, for me anyway, I just, 
wanted him to have a bit of a better send off. And, and then that movie that sort of let me down a little bit when it came to that. And that's like, one of the things too is, you know, going into movies with having expectations. It's like really, it's a better idea to keep your expectations reasonable. And, you know, just cause you can kind of get let down sometimes. And I don't, you know, by no means am I saying that was a horrible movie, Last Jedi. I'm not saying that. I know a lot of people loved that movie. And so I'm not saying that at all. It's just for me personally, I would have liked to have seen Luke's, the character of Luke Skywalker sent off in a better way. It wasn't, I didn't, that, that part of the movie just wasn't, I don't know, it just was kind of a letdown. When I watched The Mandalorian, that's when I really was like, that, that last episode and just having Luke come back was, was a walk down memory lane for me. And it was, it's something that brought me right back to childhood. And it was kind of, I guess the send off, the goodbye to Luke that I wanted to have in, 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 an, in a Star Wars movie, you know what I mean? So it was, uh, it was, seeing The Mandalorian was very special for me. It, it was uh, an incredible experience to see that last episode and to see what they did. And then watching, watching uh, lately I watched um, uh, The Book of Boba Fett and I got to experience that again, which was so great for me seeing Luke there with Grogu again, and it was just wonderful, it was amazing. I mean, that that last episode of The Mandalorian is one of the one of the best finales I've ever seen in a TV show. I mean, that, that was amazing. For me, it was just incredible. It just really moved my heart. <laughs> uh, this movie was really good though. This was really good. So I, but I went in having reasonable expectations. So I wasn't, I didn't wanna, you know, be like, oh my God, it's gonna be amazing or no, it's gonna be crap. And no, this was really good. So did this do well at the box office? Do you guys know? I haven't looked it up, nothing like that. It was amazing to see great actors in this film too. The cast was incredible. And I forget what her name was at the, uh, toward the end of the movie, she was in The Falcon and the Winter Soldier and she's such a good actress. She's incredible. I don't know what her name is, but she's amazing. Um, you know, I think they killed off Thandi Newton a little too soon. I wish that she had a, had a larger part in this film. She's just, I love her and everything I've ever seen. Um, but I get that she, you know, that character was meant to be killed and that was Woody Harrelson's love. And that's just kind of how it went. Whose voice was the, was the person narrating or being the voice of L3? Was that Kate Blanchett by any chance? Um, is, I mean, I don't know. It's probably not Kate Blanchett, but I was just wondering if it is. Whose voice was it though? Because it was, Whoever's voice that was, was amazing. That whole character of L3, I thought was so great. I loved it. It was awesome. I loved it. It was like a, like an Android social justice warrior. <laughs> it was hilarious. Um, yeah, I thought everything, but this was great. I love the guy who played Han, great actor. Don't know his name, but great actor. The, the credits just all went by and I wasn't paying enough attention to TV. So I should have been looking at that. Um, but yeah, he, I thought he was fantastic. They did a great, a, that was a great casting uh, choice, I think. Um, and I just, yeah, I mean, seeing Emilio, Emilio Clark in this was incredible. Oh my God. And Paul Bettany, so great. Yeah, it was just excellent casting for this movie. The, the visual effects were amazing. The production design was incredible. All the costumes, it was very authentic Star Wars, in my opinion, to, you know, how to like the look and feel of how I remember Star Wars. And that's, that I like that. That's important to me. When I watch Star Wars, uh, you know, material, I want it to be authentic to the way I remember Star Wars, which is the original trilogy and also the prequels, both. Um, and I know some people don't like the prequels. I personally love the prequels um, a lot. And uh, whenever I would do that Star Wars, uh, and I've said this before on many of my reactions, but whenever I would do the Star Wars personality test, my personality always, always came out as Padme. <laughs> always Queen Amidala, like always time after time after time. And I would keep redoing it because I always wanted to get Luke or Yoda, but I always got Padme, <laughs> always. Queen Amidala it was so funny, yeah. Um, but anyways, I mean, I love her. I love her character so much. I love Natalie Portman. I mean, Natalie Portman's like just an incredible actress. She's amazing. Uh, have you guys ever seen um, The Professional? I think it was her first movie ever. Oh my God. 
she was, I think she was like 12 in that film and she is just amazing. That movie, first of all, is, I think it's one of the best films ever made. It's incredible. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. It's called The Professional. It's a French film, but it's, this was done in English. Luc Besson directed it and um, Jean Reno stars in it. And so does Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman, whoa, amazing. Yeah, so if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. Um, but that's about it. I mean, I thought this movie was amazing. I loved it. I love Ron Howard. Ron Howard is just such an incredible director. I've loved, I don't think I've ever seen a Ron Howard film I didn't like. Uh, do you remember Backdraft? Amazing. So great. Pretty sure he directed that. Yeah. Yeah. He's just, I think he's an excellent actor. I also love him. You know, my dad used to always watch uh, Happy Days. And I remember, my, I remember my dad, my dad showing me Happy Days and I was like, this is hilarious. <laughs> and Ron Howard, uh, I think he, yeah, he used to play Richie or something like that, right? Yeah, yeah. And I love Ron's daughter, Bryce Dallas Howard. She's phenomenal, amazing. She herself is a talented director. Yeah, she directed quite a few of the Mandalorian episodes, I remember. Yeah, so that was, that was awesome. Anyways, I'm really happy that I watched this. Uh, finally got around to seeing Solo. I think it was great. And uh, yeah, I just look forward to, I wanna watch the other movie that comes after The Last Jedi. Why can't I remember? Oh, it's called The Return of Skywalker. That's what it's called, The Return of Skywalker, right? Yeah. So I look forward to watching The Return of Skywalker. I don't know when I'm gonna do that, but I am gonna watch it at some point. I think I'm gonna go back and rewatch uh, some of the, I, I, yeah, one of the prequels, because I haven't seen the prequels in a while and I'm interested in watching them again. I've seen the original trilogy so many times um, that I probably won't watch those again because I've just seen them so much that I don't even know if you would get a good reaction because it's kind of like, I've seen them so many times, I know them all by heart almost. Um, but the, the prequels I've seen quite a few times, but not as many times. And it's been a long time since I've seen the prequels. So I know that I'm, you know, when I do a reaction to the prequels, it's not gonna be, it's not, it won't be, as, a, as as emotional because I've already seen them, I know what happens, but there are things I've forgotten and it's been such a long time that it's gonna be kind of like a commentary and a reaction. So I'm, I'm excited, I'm excited to watch them, be awesome. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for joining me to watch my reaction to Solo, A Star Wars Story. It was great to watch it. Thank you guys for voting on it here on the channel in the poll, I appreciate that. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Take care, okay? Have a wonderful week. Thank you. Grounded So